Mike, you're waiting a, a long time for a post-game celebration like that. Yeah, I mean, we've been playing everybody so close into the wire. I mean, you know, it's about time to figure out a way to come out on top. And so I was proud of our guys out there, tough and hung in there. And, uh, you know, and now uh, uh, we outpunched them in the end. So. Considering the way last year's game ended on a similar drive to tie the game, does that way make this one a little extra sweet? Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of factors on the last drive last year, but it's good to come out on top on this one. Would you say that this was the complete game you've been looking for all year? I don't think it was complete, but I thought we played extremely hard the whole time. You know, I thought we were uh, tough till the end. I mean, I think we could have uh, made it easier than we did. Uh, but all sides of the ball I thought played. I thought we rose up uh, offense, defense, and special teams all three. Coach, well, how concerned were you when you were carrying down your three minutes to play in regulation? Was it? Well, I was kind of concerned. I mean, I figured we ought to be 10 up, you know. Uh, now you just keep battling away, you know. How would you say Luke did today? Just the way he played. It seemed like he was very gritty and kind of had a lot of hard hits at the end. He was a lot of times at the end. I thought he played a real good fourth quarter. I thought he played a real good fourth quarter. I thought he played a pretty good first half. Um, but I thought there were times, you know, not just him, but others that too that we squandered uh, in the third quarter. What's the evaluation of the defense that had to face a tough running game but made it count? Oh, I thought, I thought they played real well. I thought defensively we did a good job. We got some turnovers that we uh, uh, got some pressure on them. And, then, uh, you know, they, they got a really good running game with obviously really good players and real talented guys. I mean, you know, there's nobody on the team over there that uh, 15 teams want to recruit, you know. Or, they, they, you know, they all have 15 offers or whatever. And so they're good players. But I thought our defense did a good job of... Uh, of, uh, yeah, giving up the occasional big one, but uh, not the streaks, not too many times in a row. Have you ever seen a touchdown like that where it kind of deflected off your I couldn't see it real well. Uh, you know, the deflection thing. Uh, I mean, just from where I was sitting, it looked like, uh, yeah, that the river scored right away. I mean, it looked like river scored into the story. Well, then, of the course, the ball never touched the ground, and Robert Lewis got it. That's that. But I, I saw it from a, um, you know, I didn't have the best angle. I mean, in watching this game, uh, sometimes there's some stuff that went on that, uh, even though I didn't have the best angle, I might have had a better angle than others, you know. Was there any consideration to go for two in the regulation? No, uh, not much. You know, who consider, yeah, I think consideration is about as far as whatever. Mike, when you Mike. got the ball back with just under two minutes to go in regulation, how confident were you that that was just enough, that was not going to be able to the game up? Well, I knew we had uh, I knew we had enough time. You know, I didn't. I didn't think time was as big of a deal as uh, you know. We moved the ball pretty much uh, the whole game. We just hadn't done it consistently. All of a sudden, there'd be a mishap. You know, so the bigger concern was that uh, we finished the drive and uh, and just consistently, uh, you know, that, that we don't stop ourselves really. Because yeah, I knew we played hard. Mike, do you feel like this is the kind of win that can really? turn a season around or like a little bit of momentum for the program? I think this is the kind of win that um, you can think about for about 15 hours and then you can uh, forget about it and tell your grandchildren and focus a whole lot on Oregon State. That's the kind of win I think this is. My goalie's thoughts down his hand and then decided to kick a field goal. Is that a difficult decision or no brain? Uh, a little bit, a little bit difficult. I, I feel a sense of failure in field goals. Uh, but, you know, um, you know, we had to score twice. It felt like, uh, you know, it'd give us time to do it. So. <coughs> Anything else for Coach? There was a third down and two near the end of the regulation for Oregon. You got the big defensive stop, even though they've been running well on the game. How big was that for you guys? <coughs> that was really big. There's no question that was huge. Uh, um, but, you know, it was a game uh, that became more and more explosive as it went on. So, uh, in the whole context, uh, 
you know, I mean, the time is huge for sure, but, you know, there was a stack of kind of plays like that on both sides of the course of this game. Mike, uh, Jamal Morrow, uh, the, the way you ran hard and stuff, uh, how do you feel about his performance? Also, Joe Dahl against that uh, good tackle for that. I thought uh, <coughs> Morrow did really well, uh, brought us a little leadership skill, which I think he's good at anyway. And then, um, uh, well, uh, Joe Gull, I thought, was real steady. You know, I thought our offensive line uh, for most of the game was real good. I didn't think they were good in the third quarter, but I thought we were pretty good in the first half and then the fourth quarter. Is that good of coach? Yeah. Thank you.